You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, ready to do my next retro Happy Meal toy video. And check this out. We happen to have the full display back from 1991. It is a four toy set for young astronauts. And uh, you get the Space Shuttle and Space Walker, the Command Module. Bottom left is the Lunar Rover. And on the right bottom is the Satellite Dish and Space Walker. Now, looks like a pretty cool display. I'll just give you a quick look at the side. So you see it's dimensional on the side. See that there? And then the back is just an open back. And you can kind of see the toys back there, how they put this together back in 1991. And then all the toys are puzzles, basically. I mean, they give you the instructions how to put them together, but you have to piece it together before you can end up with your complete set. So let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see how they have that up there at the top. Pretty cool, isn't it, the way they made it? Now, if you were in a McDonald's back in 1991, you would have seen this probably on the counter somewhere. And then the big Young Astronauts logo on the center, Happy Meal. And then there is the bottom set of toys. Build all four space toys while supplies last. There's a safety tested for children age three and over. And then uh, not intended for children under three. Ask about special toys for kids under three. And I didn't realize it, but I have almost the complete set of toys for kids under three, which is a pretty cool little set. So maybe that'll be the next set in the retro series. I'm not sure. We'll see. Let me know in the comments if you want to see those toys. All right, there you go. So now, you know, as always, I like to show you the Happy Meal bag and the actual toy. So I have this four toy set with the bag. So when I come back, I'll show you that next. Here's what the set looked like back in 1991. So you had the Happy Meal bag and then the four toys. And the toys had these cool pictures on them for each set that you get to build. So let me move these out of the way. Let's just take a look at the bag. I'm going to build each one of these for you today. Why not? It's a piece of history, and that's what I like about having the actual display in the bag. Let's see here. So they show you the constellations. Big Dipper, Little Dipper, Andromeda. Find out how much brighter stars look when seen from space. Have an adult help you cut out the front panel of this bag. Next, use a pen tip to poke through each of the pink dots in the sky. And then each, uh, then hold the panel up to a light and watch the stars come out. For added fun, connect the dots to reveal the shape formed by each of these star groups known as constellations. And this site has a lot of information. Look at that. Astronauts sometimes use special space terms when they talk back and forth on the radio. See if you can understand what they're saying by picking the correct meaning for each of the words and phrases below. Answers on the bottom. Roger. Does that mean crew member's name, message understood, or go for it? Over and out. Fly over the moon and out of sight. When the flight's over, we'll go, we'll go out or goodbye. Do you read me? Read any good books lately? Can you see me? Can you hear me? I guess those are all pretty funny, actually. The astronauts are sending out a message to future space travelers, starting with the first letter in each word. Circle every other letter to reveal their message. Answer on bottom. Okay. So it looks like this goes with this. Ooh, someone spell that out for me. Can you see it close enough? Let me move it in just a little bit closer so you can see that. Okay, and then I'll show you the bottom at the same time. The moon's surface is covered with craters of all shapes and sizes. Can you find four pairs of craters that look alike? Ooh, that could be a challenge. What do you call lunar french fries? Answer, crater taters. All right, there you go. A nice little joke. So imagine that. There's the bag from 1991. And now the toys. So when I come back, I will just pick one. There's no numbers on them as a number one, two, three, and four. And I will put it together for you. All right, so let's see. I picked the command module first, but let's take a look at the actual packaging back then. And here's the step. Connect two large triangles. Step two, insert flames in the round base. Pull out to lock in place. Step three, insert plastic connector. Do not force. Turn until it slides in easily. And so on. So let's see. There's some... Other stuff on the back of this, we'll check it out and learn about this whole program that was probably going on back in 1991. There, probably the largest instruction sheet I've ever seen 
and a McDonald's toy. Oh, look at all that. Okay, so there's flames that come out of the bottom. I'm not sure they were set correctly on my display, but now we will actually do it the right way. Here we go. Look at all the pieces. And it's a very thick, heavy cardboard. Oh, even more instructions. Oh, and some space facts. I wonder if each one is a little bit different. There's a pledge card. It's like perforated here. Hold on a second. Traveling through space. Oh, so the command module they're showing is at the top. It's nice that we can actually learn something while we're building the toy. Eat like the astronauts do, so a little more information. And fun stuff to do. Pledge card. And then this side looks like to assemble your command module. I wonder if these instructions were too small, so they came out with the bigger set. Brigadier General Charles Duke. Charles Duke went to the moon on Apollo 16 in 1972. He and his partner set up experiments and discovered that, just like the Earth, the moon is almost 4 billion years old. So let's see. Collect all four McDonald's space toys while supplies last and create your own space station. All right. And that's what it looks like when it's built. So let's see. Oh, so there are little astronauts that come with this one. Okay, first things first. Let's look at these big instructions. Step one, connect two large triangles. Okay, these are the large triangles. It looks like they go this way and this way. Okay, all right. Step two, insert flames into round base, pull out to lock in place. All right, there's three flames. Let's see if there's a fourth one. There should be, there it is. So it looks like they are going, the base goes this way. Well, actually, it's hard to tell. Let me look at the picture. Ooh. You can't tell from the picture. All right, here we go. Already confused. I'm not sure what I'd want to see. I think I'd want to see this. I don't think I'd want that in. What do you think? Can you tell from this picture what the top and the bottom is? They have squiggly lines, though, so they're making this. It looks like this is the bottom because that's where the flames are. All right. I just thought this would be cool to see. It's going to be hidden from us. So slide these in. And then slide them over to lock into place. Wow, tight. Okay, so that's kind of like the base almost, like it's standing on that. Okay, how's that? Pretty cool, huh? So let me... Okay, so now I need the black connector. It's in its own little bag. And it doesn't look like there's a top or a bottom there. So now this would go through... Let's see, insert plastic connector, do not force. Turn until it slides in easily, all right? Do not force. Oh, you're gonna have to put it on a slight angle. All right, that's pretty cool. Then insert large triangle into plastic connector. All righty then, I think we're making it here. Check that out. And now I have all these extra pieces. Take two small triangles with windows attached so astronauts can see out. Okay, so you're just laying the astronauts in there and then you're probably Connecting these, yeah, see they show the astronauts in here, like this. One guy going this way, kind of looking up. And then the other guy, probably the same thing, will go the other way. Let's just see, I don't know for sure if that's the way they want it. Because then a window would go here. See the guy looking out the window? Woo, look at me. And then his feet, you wouldn't want one of the ones by his feet. Okay, this other guy looking out this way. Hmm, no, we'd want the NASA out. Okay, so he is not facing the right way. Let's see, want USA out and 
Ness out, wouldn't you? I guess not. It feels like it wants to go this way, but you can't see the guy this way, so he's going to have to go in this direction. So we're going to switch him around so that he's looking out this window this way. See? That's better. Come on, buddy. Let's get you set. There you go. You're looking out. And then these are both by their feet. USA going out. It sounds squeaky, everything going together here, but... All right. Super tight pieces on some of those. Okay, it is together. And there they are, sticking out of their windows there. There's the bottom. Oh, it should be this way. Lunar lander, right? Pretty cool. That is the toy number one. Here we go. And they have landed. That is number one. And I will show them all again at the end. So when I come back, I'm going to switch over to toy number two. All right, number two. I'm calling it number two because it's just the second one that I'm doing is the satellite dish. Now this doesn't have giant instructions, so... Let's see, so that is a separate piece in its own little bag, and look at all the pieces. Looks really cool, doesn't it? I dig all the colors. Oh, so it is a little bit different sheet now. That's cool. Messages from space. Send a signal so you can do other fun little things here. Here's that little pledge card. It just looks like a two-sided card that you pledge on. I don't think there's anything inside. Nope, nothing inside. So that is what it says. I'll read some of it. Today's satellites are put up in space by space shuttles and rockets. The satellites orbit around the Earth. They send signals. Describing what they see to satellite dishes all over the world. Ooh. And then here we have T. Wendell Butler. Wendell Butler's dream was to help children learn about science, math, and space in 1984. With the help of the President of the U.S., he started the Young Astronaut Program. Today, thousands of children around the world are having fun as young astronauts. Oh, and there's my instructions, so let's keep this handy because there are no other instructions with this one. No giant ones, that is. Okay, so first things first, step one. They show this piece, this piece. It looks like this one is first, this one is second. Okay, then going into a round circle. Hmm, with a cylinder in it. Look at that. With a cross like, or a plus sign in there, and that's not here. I'm guessing that they made a mistake. That's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing that goes into that. Oh, cool. And then, step two is this piece and this piece. It looks like these should connect like this. And then hold this. Slip that on there. Okay. Okie dokie. And then this looks like it's supposed to go on here. That doesn't look right. Why doesn't that look right? I think there's something wrong. No, that's the way they show it. Do, 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 do. Six pieces total. Yep. That's it. Okay. 
and just line it up a little bit better. I thought maybe this should lock into there, but the way they have it, it does not lock in unless, well, I'll have to check. Maybe I'll check the display. All right, so this is now just the astronaut here with his foot. And then the planet off to the side. So I wonder if it stands, oh, there. So it stands up like that, then that like that. And then I will double check that, but that's the way I see it. They show just this top piece coming out. Probably because they want this to be able to move. Ah, that makes sense now. See that? They don't want it to lock in. Because the picture shows it angled. Just like I have it. Almost exactly like I have it. Alright, so that is toy number two. Very cool. Let me move on and grab the next toy. Toy number three is the Space Shuttle. I know, it's kind of funny how I talk my way through some things. I feel like sometimes people are commenting while I'm doing things. Well, I know that for a fact, but no, put that there. No, that's right. You got it right, Dave. Don't worry about it. Just work your way through it. So thanks to everybody who's supporting me as I go through these things. All right, so let's get this out right away because we know we're going to need it. Look at this one. Look at all the pieces. Very cool uh, pictures on them, isn't there? The flames. All right, here we go. Let's let's learn about our fun facts today. Living in space. There's Ronald. Try this on your own. Astronauts must wear special spacesuits that are filled with air. See how it would be to work like an astronaut. Put a rubber glove on one hand. Use your other hand to hold it close around the wrist. Leave some air inside the glove so it stays kind of puffed up using the hand with the glove on. Try to pick up 10 pennies one at a time. Oh, very good, Ronald. 10 pennies. Put them in a pile. Now take the glove off and try the same thing with your bare hand. Which was easier? Which was way easier? Which way was easier? Space shuttles are reusable space planes. They take off with... The rockets do and land like airplanes. They carry important things such as satellites and laboratories. Space shuttles also carry trained crew inside who are learning how we can one day live in space... Future space shuttles will help build cities and farms in space. Here's the pledge card. Lieutenant General Thomas Stafford. Ooh, let's see. If you lived on the moon, you'd weigh six times less than you do on Earth. You would stretch to be about two inches taller than you are on Earth. You would be able to jump six times higher than you can on Earth. That would be cool. Thomas Stafford flew on two Gemini missions, the Apollo 10 and the Apollo 18, while in space. The Apollo 18 hooked together with the Soviet spacecraft, Soyuz, Soyuz, and for two days both crews talked, worked, and ate together. All right, let's see. First things first, flames, and they're offset. Okay. Okay, I see offset flames now. Help stand, and then this piece next. And then this piece here. Now, they don't kind of—they don't really tell you which way exactly this goes. It's hard to see from these tiny pictures. No wonder why they had the giant sheet on that one. But it kind of looks like this side, where the two flames are. And then this one here fits in between these flames. Okay, and then step four is done. Step five, slide these two tall pieces together. Okie dokie. And then this clips into here. Let's see, which way do you think? It's got to be this way. You want all the cool pictures in front, wouldn't you? Tighter than the last one. Much tighter. Let me see if this black piece. Something squeezing it together. Let's see if the, no, I don't know if it's that. Let me just try to put it together this way. It doesn't want to go together. Alright, this one's gonna take a little fudging. 
But let me see if I've got this right. So they show that like that, yes. And then the picture. But almost the two big pictures together. Let me see if I've got this one right. Or like this. See how you get totally confused? Let me see if this goes together another way. There we go. So these two pictures together. Then this goes like this. That's a little better. I think I'm going to have to get a tool in here and try to pull this apart. I don't want to ruin my cardboard. It just seems snugger than the other ones in this space here. Let's see. Let's see if that helped a little. see this side if it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. Oh, there we go. Slowly take this out. There we go. Oh, that was a tough one. Look at that. Okay. Oh, so that's there. So this can go here and give it like a cover. Okay, then these go on the side, on this side, this side, to act like the wings. I get it now. There, I think I got that right. It took me a little while, as you can see. And then this guy sits up here like this. Like he's spacewalking. On his ship, that is. All right, I think I got that one. Took a little bit, but you know, still pretty cool. Yeah, all the colors are back here, so I know I have that right. And then all the cool graphics are up here. Check that out. All right. Hope I'm not boring you with this one. Let's move on to the last one, and then I'll show you the whole set again. All right, the Lunar Rover. Let's learn about that. So far, so good. I think I got them all pretty spot on. Maybe a piece or two off place here or there. Look at all the pieces for this one. I guess you can make it like a puzzle. At first, I remember I first said it was a puzzle, but they're not really puzzles. They're models, basically, with plastic pieces and cardboard. All right, here we go. Making tracks in space. I'm not reading everything to you because I figure you can read it if you want to pause and enlarge. So I'm just reading tidbits. A lunar rover is a moon buggy that the astronauts use to drive on the moon. It runs on batteries and has a large antenna and a camera for staying in touch with Earth. Astronauts from three Apollo missions use lunar rovers to help them collect rock from the moon. All three lunar rovers are still on the moon waiting for future astronauts to come use them. There's the pledge card again. I pledge to do my best to prepare for our future in space and on Earth, to learn about science, math, and other subjects, and to share what I've learned with others. And then we are going to learn about Captain Eugene Kernan. Eugene Kernan flew on the Gemini 9 and went to the moon twice with Apollo 10 and Apollo 17. In December of 1972, he was the last man to walk on the moon. Very cool. Oh, and there's a nice picture of it. Maybe I will use that. So here is the instructions. Let's see. I'm already confused. Let's just lay this flat. It looks like it is going this way. Okay. And then they're taking a back piece, the flag. They have the flag in here going this way. Right? And then two side, little side pieces. Where are you, little side pieces? These would be the, what look to be 
some type of engine. Okay, so it's like whoosh, like that. And then he sits, where does he sit? He looks like he just clips on here like that, okay? And then this would go on to here. So it goes in and then slides over. Let's get the wheels on this so I can set this down. Do, 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 check it out. My vehicle is almost ready. Okay, so now I can set that down and look at it. All right, so this now, let's see. So they show this like this and this coming in to the angle side. There's this control panel, check that out. Okay, and then this sits on top of this. And here again, they must want this to move. So they show it like angled like this for him. We'll put that on there and this in here. Do, 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 do. How's that? I would say that's pretty close to what it is. I like that one. That's probably my favorite. I don't know why. I am going to now, and here's the side shot. See the, the solid colors are on the back part. So the front is actually this, really, so you can display it like that. All right, yeah, I will come back then. I'll have all four, and we'll just take one more look at it. And I'll be right back. All right, here we go. This is the four toy set from 1991. You've seen the actual in-store display, the Happy Meal bag, and now I put together all four toys. Let's put you this way so you can see the front better. Which is your favorite? I'm sticking with my Lunar Rover. And this one's pretty cool, too. It's tall. Well, actually, they're all cool. Let me give you a side shot. I have them kind of all facing the way they... Hopefully should be facing. Got both astronauts the correct way. You're probably saying, no, they go the same way. Well, I worked it out. And then, pretty cool. That's what this one would look like from this perfect angle. Look at them up there. Oh, wait, he's going this way. Psh, joining his buddy. Psh, driving together on the Lunar Rover. All right, that is the set. What do you think of that? Let me know in the comments. Do you like this set? Have you seen this set? Are you a space fan? I was going to say fanatic, but fan is good. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed seeing the complete set with the display then if you want to see more retro toys look at the description for a playlist as always you can search lucky penny shop and now it's time to blast off oh wait you don't want to be hanging on the outside do you later if you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.